Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can create simple form in React Native. So guys, let's start with the points. So first of all, we need to create three text input. First one for username and email and for password. And uh, after that, we will create two buttons uh, for get the uh, form values and reset the form. After that, we will make some states for each text input so that we can uh, bind the values of these text input with the state and uh, we can get these values and reset these values right and once we will just press the button uh, the values will be printed on the screen and after that uh, there will be a second button also once we will pre press the reset button the values and the form will be clearer will be get cleared and guys in many forms you i guess you have already seen that once we are just uh, filling the password that is always come with the stars or with the dots because password is a secured field we cannot directly display it to the uh, user right because maybe there is a two or three person directly just watching that, that password so we will also learn that in react native how we can convert the normal text to the secure text or you can say that normal text to the dot 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 text right so now this is our emulator here we will see our output and this is our form right so this is the app.js i am just uh, closing this explorer so that we have more space for uh, writing the code so i am just starting with the uh, text input field right and i am adding some properties here like placeholder we can just say that enter user name right after that we have to because this is not uh, look like actual uh, uh, input text so we have to add some style there and for that what i'm going to do i am just using the style sheet and let's just create a const styles and there we can use style sheet dot create and after that uh, we can take a simple text input or something right not import input and uh, here inside that you can write any a style like i already have just uh, copied these so i'm pasting them because i don't want to waste much time on style because we already learned that how we can create the uh, basic style in previous video if you want to watch this video link is given in the description box with complete playlist so here we just put the font size color border with border color and margin and now we can apply this style directly on the you can see that on text input so i am putting there styles dot text input here you can see that all right so the next thing is we need to uh, declare some uh, states also so that we can bind these all inputs with the uh, state so what i'm going to do i am declaring a state with the name and uh, there will be two elements first one is state name second will be the second one will be the function that will update that state right set name and we can see that use state like this and after that i am just copy and paste it with email set email and password and set password also right all right so now i am binding uh, on text change event on change text event uh, with name so there will be a function uh, in that on the on change text event and that will basically update the name state like this perfect and i am just uh, binding the value with the state also so that when when we want to clear the uh, value of input uh, text we will just clear the state and the value of this uh, uh, input text will also be cleared right so like this so that i just want to copy and paste it so just save the time and uh, you can see that video length so password so enter <clears throat> and here we have to bind the set password and with values we have to bind password perfect and last one we have to just change the set uh, 
email and let me bind the value with also email and here we can put the placeholder enter user email and we have to put there enter user password now the next thing is if i am just typing something in the password here you can see that this is just completely visible but it should not be like this right so what we can do for that we can add one more props here you can see that props or property whatever you want to say uh secure text entry and the value will be true for this perfect now we need to just create buttons uh, not buffer actually buttons and i am putting their title will be get details second one will be uh, clear details right and if you just want to give some space between them then we cannot apply uh, style directly on the buttons so that we need a view for that right so i am adding a view and let's add some style there style equal to margin bottom let's say 10 and inside this we can add that button so now we have some space let's say you want to change the color then there is a color probe so just simply put there red or green whatever you want to add the color right perfect so after that uh once i will just click on the get detail button i want to print the old details uh, value of all input fields so that i need one more state so just i'm putting there a state name is display you can use any name to for that and set display right by default value for this is false don't be used there true otherwise uh, that is that is always be uh, you can say that uh, uh, all data will be always visible it will never hide right so for that what i'm going to do uh, i will change this state on the own press of uh, get detail button on press let's apply a arrow function set display and make it true perfect and now the next thing is i just want to display all values of uh, uh, this state or you can say that that input fields inside the with the text so i will check first that if display this is a state one right this is the that state we defined if this is true then we need to just show a data for all inputs views and if this is false then show null all right for that what i'm going to do there i am again putting uh, some text with the style and let's say style is let's say color or uh, font size only right font size could be 20 and we have to use their double curly braces because this is that will be a object inside jsx perfect so now simply put their name state and with the same way let's put three more state password and last one is email perfect okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just entering some values let's say name is peter even you can just use this uh, keyboard also mobile keyboard also for enter but it will take some time that's why one two three four five is password and email id is abc at the rate test.com just click on the get details and here you can see that we got all the details there so now on the clear button i want to clear off these data for that we i need a function so what i'm going to do i will call a call a function on on press event on press and i am making a function and function name will be let's say reset form or whatever you want to create this name right just simply 
create this const reset form and shout or no we don't need to shout why i'm just putting their shout uh there will be a arrow function of this and here i will just uh, reset of all of these fields so set display will be false after that set email will be empty set password again will be empty uh, set password is last one that will also empty right all fields are empty there so now if i'm just uh, clicking on the reset form here you can see that all data is just removed from there let's try once more abc is name password is 123 and email id is abc at the rate test.com and again i am just printing it get details details are there and clear detail right so that's all for this video guys so if you just uh, want to know about form anything else then you can ask me in the comment box and i will request you to please support me by subscribe my channel like this video and uh, uh, you can just share your feedback in the comment section thank you guys thank you so much